Martin, I'm not going to let you get out of here yet. It's okay. This is a big, big deal for you. 3,500 wins. The Hollywood part of the time, they let me know, but more, I can win a race. <laughs> took me the whole meet to win yeah. one race because I was trying to get decent. Well, yeah. did Richie have you on the wrong horses? No, yes. no, 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 no. Yes, it was not me. He rode yeah, great. Richie, get in here a little bit tighter. I, I want to say this seriously. Yeah. It's 3,500 wins in the big leagues. You've gone up against the Delahousies, the Pinkeyes, the McCarrens, Gary Stevens, Shoemaker. all uh -huh. Shoemaker, all of them in their prime, and you've done it for a long, long time, Martin. You you gotta feel very proud of this. I'm very proud. I'm very proud. Of the, you know, to everything I've done in my career. You know, I compete with those guys. Now I compete with a bunch of young puppies. You know. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and then you know I had to. They still have it. You know, no but for 47 year old. <laughs> Not bad. You've had injuries, you've overcome and everything else, yeah. and you still come through on the inside. Oh, yeah. Martin, it's amazing. Really. My pleasure. My pleasure. Fantastic career. Great, great achievement. Let's get another 3,000. You got it, boss. You got Thank it. You. Okay. <laughs> How does Trevor do it? Oh, my gosh. He said book oh, review's hey, coming hey, to get them all. I tell you what, that Trevor, I love when he says that. Uh, hey, Bob. I thought that was my best chance to win it. Does this ever get old, opening day at Santa Anita? Never gets so old. I love opening day. It's like it's, it's my Christmas gift right there. Congratulations, Bob. Thank you. Rafael, congratulations. You. What a way to start the meet, huh? Yeah, yeah. Five months, so to speak. And you really feel like you're kind of on an upswing with this quote. Okay, how much more improvement is there, perhaps? I think he is, and he's always give us the feeling that he's a very good horse. You know, as you saw today, and if you look back in his races, other than the Breeders' Cup, he always gave me that same feeling. Shame I had to mess up the Breeders' Cup. That's all. Truth. What, what was your first experience with horse racing? Actually, as a little kid, uh, when I was a little kid, you know, you heard stories. You heard stories about amazing events where people went. And, you know, like when I was growing up, it was the old movies with Cary Grant and Clark Gable going to the races, and you saw this kind of other world, the culture. The movies really show the care that was taken to grooming the horses. People only see the sweat and the riding and all that stuff. You never see that all year long. A horse might race once a month. Correct. It's it's unbelievable stuff, and the amount of dedication and athleticism that the jockeys have to go through is beyond anything. And you just uh, and there's a dedication. George, by the way, who's the president of the track. When I first met him, I wanted to know, so what's it like? You know, how long have you been here? I've been speaking four or five years. His entire life, and his father was here before him. And when you meet people on the track, from the people who make the grass pristine and gorgeous, right. and this woman who just walked into my shop. Lisa it Dillman, matter. L.A. Yes. Times. She's big. Oh, no, my no. goodness. She can step in. You mentioned the movies. So many of them shot here over the years. Going all the way back to the Marx Brothers in the mid-1930s in this venue. But we're going to change something all that. magical about the it. The past is magical and the present is all going to change. We're going to get Brad and Angelina out here. They're all going to come here because it is going to be the coolest place on earth. Gene, great to see you. Good luck. Thank it's, you. It's a pleasure.